Before we start the video guys, you can get your first month of Envato Elements for only $9 via the link below. If you've watched this channel or if you're a video editor, you probably know what Envato Elements is. It's a pretty good deal. Check it out. Every subscription helps the channel. All right, let's get into this video. And how's it going guys? Joshua Lefemi here live from LA and we're yet again going to the UK to Leeds to check out my incredibly talented bro, Dave. He is uh, a very um, accomplished audio engineer as well as musician and video director. He does so much stuff and he's going to bring to you another audio tutorial tackling a topic that I feel like everyone is going to need to know how to do, which is removing background sound. Check it out. You don't want to miss this one. Dave, the floor is yours. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. Today I want to show you guys a few different ways of how to remove background noise. Sometimes you get noisy preamps, noisy fans, something in the room is a bit off. So we're going to jump into Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you guys how to remove that. Let's go. So here I've got my recording. I recorded with this microphone right here. And here's the thing, right? When we're recording broadcast level audio, when we say broadcast level, Really what we mean is we want to make everything as loud as possible, but when we bring everything else up, we bring the noise up, we bring all the annoying sounds up. So we have to treat the audio to bring that audio up to a decent level. Today we're going to focus on the background noise, make sure we get rid of that all together. Now this is my audio right here. We're going to use the audio track mixer. And if you can't see that, just press on window and make sure that is on audio track mixer. Now, audio track mixer will affect the whole channel. So we've got one, two, three, four channels. We're gonna affect the first channel. Whereas if I was just working with a sample audio, I would only affect the audio clip. So we're gonna affect the whole channel. That's the way I like to work. Now, this is the audio I've got. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? So we can hear some noisy preamps around this side. This clip isn't as loud as I'd like it to be. This is a sample of some... So it's hit, hitting like minus 18. I'm going to bump it up to around there, minus 6, minus 3. Let's see what that sounds like. First of all, I'm going to go into my dynamics. And this is a quick way of kind of affecting that. I'm going to go into compression and try some different stuff. So I've applied this uh, compressor on it just to make everything louder and just to kind of balance everything. Now, while doing that, I am going to be pushing some of the noisy parts right here. It might be fans in the room, noisy preamps, all that kind of stuff. That's going to be pushed up. So I want to eliminate that. Now, this is what it sounded like before. This is a sample of some noisy audio. And this is what it sounds like with a compression. So I'll brought everything up to where I kind of like the volume to be. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? So I've got some noisy stuff going on there. Going on there. So after I've applied dynamics, what I'm going to do is bring that down because I would like to remove all the noise before it hits the compression. So first way of doing this is going down to the noise reduction and restoration tab going to go to denoise and this is the inbuilt feature that adobe premiere has now this is a bit of a one slider feature so I, you don't really have to do much let's go with like 10 percent. see what that does this is a sample of some noisy audio can you hear that so already it's taking quite a bit out and you can output the noise only and see what that does and see what that takes out so let's uh, click that so that's doing quite a lot of work. Let's bump it up to like 20%, see what that does. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? Noisy preamps. Let's bump it up a tiny bit more. Let's say 30%, see what that sounds like. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? This is what it's taking out. And if we do like a before and after, this is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? And this is without the plugin. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? All right, so that does quite a lot of work. Right here in the processing focus, you could tell it what to affect more. So I want it to affect the higher frequencies more. So it concentrates on that. Let's see if that makes a difference. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? 
and without. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? So it, it is a noisy recording because I've brought everything up. So let's go a bit more extreme with this. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? So the secret is when you're doing recordings, you don't want to take everything out. You want to probably keep a bit of noise in there because the absence of sound is what triggers the brain and you kind of notice that a bit more. If you've got like a constant noise, just a bit of noise flow is always good to have in your recordings, a uh, bit of the ambient sound because the absence of sound just like, you know, mess with our brains a bit scientifically. I probably didn't explain it right, but that's the case. So that's why in podcasts, when we edit podcasts, we always leave a tiny bit in uh, just to keep something constant in the recordings. Now, that's a stock plugin you can get with uh, Adobe Premiere. This right here is a plugin we can get from a company called Waves. They do loads of plugins. They do like some great stuff. This plugin right here is called the NS1. Now the NS1 works in the in a very similar way. I'm gonna go in, let me just disable the app. Yeah. And this is again, one slider. So it's kind of a smart noise reduction tool. And let's just test this one out. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? So that just eliminates everything. So if I just take this to zero. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? Even at zero, this is doing more than anything else was doing. So you can have some presets right here. I've put it on air conditioning because this is what I'm trying to take out. And it just works. A dream. I didn't even have to touch that. I didn't have to be aggressive with it. It's pretty much on zero. And it does, in my opinion, does a better job than uh, the stock plugin. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? See, you can't hear it, can you? I'll turn it off. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? So that works great. That works really well. So I use that sometimes in my recordings. And literally, I just probably put on zero or like maybe like up to 10 sometimes. And that's what that does. A bit more of an elaborate tool is the voice denoise by Isotope is part of the RX package. And I think, uh, and this comes with the basic package. So what this does is, what I like is you can profile the sound. So what that means is you can just play the noise. What the software will do is learn that noise and then remove it from all your recordings. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go into this part right here where I've got the noisy part. I mean, you can leave it on adaptive and that pretty much does what the NS1 plugin does from Waves or you know, to that in theory, that's what it does. It might sound a bit different, but I want it to learn this part of the recording. So I'm gonna go right here and just play this recording. I'm just gonna play the noise. All right, so that is the curve. That's where the noise is coming from. And that's what I'm going to tell it to remove. So while that's there, you got these two sliders. One's the threshold and one is the reduction. How much we want to take out. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? So that's what it's taking out. It's taking out loads of stuff. So might be a bit too aggressive. So we're going to just pull it down. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? It's taking quite a lot of stuff out. I'm going to turn it off. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? And this is with a plugin. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? That works great. So sometimes what I will do is I'll put the NS1 on just zero just to make sure it just gates that sound. And then I'll put the RX voice to noise plugin on top of that in series just to take a bit more of that sound. The reason I do that is you don't want one plugin doing too much work because then you get artifacts and you get weird sound. You kind of want each plugin to do a bit of the work and take a bit of the load off. And you'll realize that when you come to recordings that have a lot of background noise, I mean, this is more of a control environment, thanks Corona, but I'm just showing you the theory behind this stuff and just showing you a few more tools. The last one and more articulate tool I want to show you guys is again from Isotope, and it's called the RX Spectral Denoise. Now this one's a bit more elaborate. It kind of works the same as Voice Denoise, but it's got a few more options, and you can get a bit more surgical with it. So again, it will ask us to profile the sound, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's make sure all my other effects are off, 
and I'm going to concentrate on spectral denoise. I'm going to just use the end part it's just a bit longer. All right, so in theory, that's learned it. So it's got a few more options. I mean, it's got some advanced settings that you don't want to really mess around with, at least in the first stage. So oh, it's still learning. Okay, so that's what it's learned. That's the curve. As you can see from the voice to noise, voice to noise is it's got like six points. It's a bit more basic. But then when you move to the spectral to noise, it's got a lot more points. And it, I think it's more articulate the way it works. Now we're going to go in and try to remove the noise. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? Noisy preamps. And this is what's taken out. So it's got that output noise only tab. So it's going to tell us exactly what's taken out. So that's what it's taken out, which is pretty incredible. This is a sample of some noisy audio. Can you hear that? Noisy preamps. So there you have it, everybody. That's how you remove background noise from your recordings. You got the stock plugin that works great. You got the NS1 that works a tiny bit better in my opinion. And then you got the RX stuff that is incredible in what it does. Links in the description. Until next time, take care. Dave, thank you so much for such an incredibly talented tutorial. The entire audience loves you. We want to keep seeing content from you. We always learn so much. Guys, please make sure to share this video with anyone that needs to see it. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Remember to check out Envato Elements. You can get it for $9 for the first month. And as always, remember to keep it chill.